Hey everyone! What is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena, and what I have going for today's video is yet another moment of weakness at Tuesday morning. Oh, I showed the wrong side. There we go. But I'm sure that you all got the basic idea. Anyway, what I have here are these more Spectrum Noir, but these are kits with what I think are projects inside, but I'm not going to assume. However, I have read the back of the box multiple times, but yeah, I'm really excited about these. I'm, I'm probably only going to be doing one for, for this video, but I will have a second video linked eventually once I make it. But Anyways, um, I need to decide which of these I want to do and then share it with all of you. I'm really excited. Let's go. Alrighty. So the first thing that I realized while I started filming this video was that wearing a long sleeve shirt was a bad idea. All right. Now that that is out of the way, first of all, what I would like to point out is that these kits, their estimated value is approximately $16. I got them for 10 that's what I love about Tuesday morning, the deep, deep discounts. So there's this illustration and there's the watercolor. Now then I had a flub in an earlier video where I got some sets of the Spectrum Noir illustrator markers and I was super psyched because I thought that they were the aqua ones. So <laughs> yeah. But, like, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with the watercolor kit today. So, illustration kit will be in its own video. Right, now that that is out of the way, let's crack this puppy open. Maybe. Ah, there we go. Oh, no tape. All right, so we've got five Spectrum Noir Aqua, and we have an art liner. Oh, is that a step up from a fine liner? Here, let me turn it so you guys can see it better. How about that? Well, I'm curious about this. An art liner. Ooh, that is, look how fine that is. That is teeny tiny. I love it. Anything else? Oh, yes, there is. Oh, that's cool. They even give you a paper. All right, so we got a pamphlet. Meet the artist who's on the front of the box. Bonita Moby. I hope I said your name correctly. And if I didn't, I do apologize. So you got pamphlet, like you know, pamphlet means fancy. Oh, these are already, okay, so these are already pre-done outlines. Do they have, oh, and then there's three blanks, okay. So that's nice. So you get a bit of a warm up with those. Here are the colors. We have Kingfisher, Sunshine, I love these names, Scarlet, okay that one's more standard, ah, come on, sorry about the bouncing camera, Prussian Blue, Alpine Green, and the art liner. All right, I'm just gonna set this stuff off to the side for now. Now then like, okay. So, get a look at that. But what I love about this is that it's great if 
you're still, like, if, if you don't know if this is going to be the right thing for you, if, if you're a beginner, I, I mean, like, this looks like something that somebody who's five years old could enjoy or somebody who's 90 years old could enjoy, and that's what I love about these sorts of things. So what I think I'm going to do, well, okay, I've got to swatch these, obviously, but I'm going to grab one of these designs and just do one of these pre-done designs and then I'm gonna do my own original piece so let's yeah yeah swatching swatching might be a good idea okay so among things that this kit sadly does not include are paintbrushes and a palette which are two things that you're probably going to want when using water media, so there's that. These, I guess this kit is bring your own paintbrush. As. Because I've got one too many. Alright, here I'm going to start out with this sunshine, and let's look at the barrel again. I mean, like, these are the standard Spectrum Noir hexagon barrels. Now that what I like about them that puppy ain't rolling unless you want it to. But I will admit that this chunky monkey barrel is kind of annoying to hold for extended periods of time. So let's just get this party underway. So it's like even dry him, there I go dropping a paintbrush. Even dry, it shows up on the paper very nicely. But Well, it would look nicer if I didn't get that nasty fleck of dust in there, but ooh, that looks nice. That really... Ooh, I like that. Alright, I'm gonna try... Ooh, when they say fine. That is some very fine tip. That is some teeny, teeny, tiny detail tip. But it's got an outrageously smooth, like it just melts into the water and I love that. All right, so I'm gonna finish swatching out these and then I was gonna try some experiments with the palette and then get to the fun part. Huh, but who am I kidding? I enjoy swatching. It's all the fun part. All right, I'm gonna get started on that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stop now.
Alrighty, overall I am pleased with the initial tests, everything from the base swatches to the very nice light watercolor effect you get from mixing with just water in a palette. I enjoy doing this gradient, even though it's a mess, it's a colorful mess and I love it. The fine liner, or, oh, excuse me, the art liner, beautiful, it doesn't bleed from the water, which is great. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm ready. I am so ready. Okay, let me just very carefully move this to the side. All right, which of these three should I do? I mean, like, they all look like they'd be fun. Well, like, you know what? I think I'm going to do this one just because I have, like, it looks like it might be a succulent of some kind, I want to say. Like, I actually do not know what kind of a plant that is. So, I, I figure that I just feel no pressure to, to color it a certain way. I'm just going to do what I want. And then, with one of these remaining two blank sheets, I'm going to just do something of my own. So, let's just get to it. Okay, so when I picked out this line art to color, I thought that it was like a succulent in a desert scene, but I think I was mistaken. I actually think that this plant was a bird of paradise. I didn't see it at the time, but it's funny the little things that you see in hindsight and during editing. However, I've considered the idea of dabbling around with those coloring page alterations. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like what ACD Art Attack does? Seriously amazing art tuber. Check out his content, by the way. Anyways, I just had a lot of fun using these markers and just playing around in a low-pressure environment. Great practice for what's to come. Okay, so here is this one, and I will admit it got a little bit muddy and a little bit bloomy, but you know what, in all honesty, I'm not too worried about that because this was just, I was just having fun and experimenting how these markers worked, and so far, I'm just enjoying myself, and you know what, that's the most important thing. So far, these things have been a ton of fun, and as you can see, you can get a lot of range with just five colors. I mean, like, I am having a blast with these things. So I'm gonna set that one aside, get a blank sheet, and this time I'm gonna put this bad boy to some more use. And of course, again, bring your own art supplies to the kit. These are my Prismacolor Color Rice pencils, which I do not know why I never got these sooner. I really don't. These things have been Mm, I love them two bits. Anyways, it is time for an original illustration. Hey, while we're at it, why not check out Bonita Moabi's Instagram, at Bonita Doodles? This is a fantastic little kit featuring her beautiful works of art, so share the love with another very deserving and talented artist. So the first thing I'd like to start with is just how much I loved these greens and blues that came in this kit. I really wanted my design to utilize these gorgeous colors, and I immediately thought, Dragon's Eye. 
Now I've done a similar design before with these markers that I had got off of Wish. I'll have a link in the description below if you're curious about that. But you know, sometimes you just gotta draw a dragon's eye in great detail. As for the Spectrum Noir Aqua markers, whether you use them as markers or watercolors with extra steps, these things are amazing. I just enjoyed using them so much. The blending especially is just stunning. Even though you only get five markers in this kit, as you can see, those five colors can stretch into a wide variety of tones, hues, and values. The art liner is quite possibly MVP, most valuable pen. Near as I could tell while using this thing, it didn't bleed despite being surrounded by water. I'd like to get more of these things with different sizes. Spectacular. Honestly, I think my only complaint would be there's no brush or palette. You gotta provide those for yourself. Other than that, yeah, this little kit was a great buy. Oh, before I forget, be sure to visit my Instagram at Silver Hyena Art. All right, so I think that my one regret was simply just not taping this down. Okay, truth be told, was that I was planning to tape it down, but I couldn't find my clipboard until I was about halfway through doing this piece, so <sighs> there's that. However, overall, this, this whole kit thing, I loved this thing. I, I loved this. Ah, there I go, just scooting my thing all over the place, but I mean, this, it, it's just wonderful if you're looking to get into the art supply, if you're not sure if you're gonna like it or not, but the fact that it comes with some coloring pages that are pre-done, and then it comes with the, the blank sheets for you to do whatever with, it's just... I mean, like, even at the, the regular estimated price of $16, okay, $15.95 if you want to be specific, I'd have been thrilled with this. But the fact that 10 bucks, I mean, that is, okay, it's like I'm holding the thing, but I'll, I'll do a thumbs up here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, double jointed thumbs. <laughs> but two double jointed thumbs up as far as I'm concerned. This thing was awesome. I'm having a hard time really finding anything bad to say about it. Um, you have to provide your own palette and paint brushes. There we go. There we go. I found a nitpick. There we go. So it's fair. Anyways, I certainly hope that you have enjoyed this video and that it helped you in some way. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you didn't, um, well, just hit that like button anyway, just to be nice. Um, there we go. Anyways, with that being said, this is Silver Hyena signing off. Stay creative, everybody.
And next time I'll just hunt for that dang clipboard because Okay, okay. Um, where was I? Oh, yes. Bye!